Hi, Peter Charles here from Fly Fly Fishing, and today we're going to tie the little brown trout. Now, this fly has a bit of a history with me. I caught my first fish on a black ghost, but my first trout that came on a streamer came on a little brown trout. Uh, when I first started fishing for trout with flies, uh, my fishing buddy uh, taught me how to fish dries and nymphs and wet flies, but he wasn't much of a streamer guy. So he had a, a little brown trout or two sitting in his fly box and he, he gave them to me. So I decided to give them a try. I mean, I didn't like the look of them. I wasn't impressed. I thought, yeah, it doesn't look like much. And I started swinging them from browns and I got one after another after another. Finally, the, the, the fly ended up uh, <laughs> literally the point rusted off. It broke off because it was so rusty. I'd used it so much. Um, so. It's an effective pattern. It really does work. And it recognizes the fact that trout are cannibals. They'll eat their young once they get to a certain size. Uh, they're not fussy. If it's small enough to fit in their mouth, they'll eat it. So here we go. Let's have a look at the material for the little round trout. Our hook is a size four. Uh, it's a, a four extra long, two extra heavy streamer hook. Our thread is a, a uni thread in a black six aught. You could use brown too, but this pattern tends to use black for the head. Our tail is a brown saddle hackle. Our rib is a uni French gold in large size. Our body is made out of uh, white yarn. This is ordinary knitting yarn, so just raid your granny's knitting stash. <laughs> Don't bother buying a skein of it. And the wings are made up of three bucktails, brown, orange, and yellow. Now, I should mention that you, you'll see some little brown trout patterns that have more stuff than this, but um, I find that this is basically all you need to catch fish with a little brown trout streamer. So, let's get going and tie our thread on. Okay, just take off about half an inch of uh, your saddle hackle. Size it, pinch loop it on. Couple extra turns, trim off the excess. Now we're going to tie in the gold tinsel, come at it from behind and tie it in underneath. So when we create that bump at the end, it's even both top and bottom. Put a couple of loose wraps in there and then pull it and then finish it up. Just make sure it stays underneath. Next we tie in our yarn. Okay, we're going to start winding our yarn. I'm going to start by holding it on tight. So as I wind it over the bump, it's, it's squished down. And then as I come off the bump, I'm going to relax it. And as the result, we end up with a level body. We don't end up with the uh, back end as a big bump. Now, because we're tying on three layers of bucktail, I'm going to leave some extra room here because we've got a lot of wing to put on. The next is our gold rib. Now, you have a choice here with the gold rib. You can counterwind it or you can wind it the same direction as yarn. Uh, I find if you counterwind it, it tends to be a little bit more robust, but I'm going to wind it the other way this time just to show you the difference. Start with a wind at the back and then we come forward. Put a couple of wraps in, trim it leaving a little tag, and then just hold that tag underneath the hook and just wind it in. When I did the uh, little uh, rainbow trout video, I stacked the uh, bucktail wing. And that's a very common approach for this particular series of flies. In this one, however, I'm not going to stack them. I'm going to show you the difference between the two. Basically, what happens when you stack bucktail, you end up with a very wedge-shaped wing. And that's not a bad thing, but it's just a, a particular look. When you uh, don't stack, you get a much more tapered look to the thing, which is what I'm going to try today. 
Now, because we're not stacking, we're going to have to pick stuff out. So I'm going to talk about that with the yellow, but then I'm just going to continue with the orange and the uh, brown rather than repeat the same thing. So let's start with the yellow. Now you're putting on three of layers of bucktail, so don't go gung-ho with the uh, amount you're clipping off. Okay, you've got some short stuff in here, which we're going to go over the garbage can and peel off. Now, this stage of the game, what I'm looking for is, you know, bits that are really sticking out. They're kind of ugly. They're too long. They're too short. And I'm going to pick those out. So what's left is bucktail that's roughly the same length. There we go. So we slimmed it down and they're all roughly the same length and they're not too uh, curvy and going in different directions. Now, because I haven't stacked this, I'm going to do it a little uh, longer than the tail rather than stopping it at the tail like I did with the other video. Well, I'm just going to tie this in a little longer. We're going to use a pinch loop, pull up, and then tighten, and then make sure that we're straight on top. Now trim off the excess and wind it in. Now I'm going to bring my thread back and I'm not going to put tight turns here. I'm just going to lay those turns on. Now you notice how it's sitting down now. If I butted that hair up against the body like this, it's going to stick way up in the air, but as I put those soft wraps on, I'm pushing that wing back down so it lays flatter. I tend to like that flat lay on my wings. I don't tie all the flies that way because when I'm doing these videos, I'm showing you the various ways things can be done. But on this one, I'm showing you basically the way I like to tie a bucktail on a wing. Okay, the next one is the orange. And we're going to do the same thing with the orange as we're going to do with the yellow. Again, make sure it's sitting on top. And I'll put in a couple of tight wraps so it doesn't move and trim. Now onto the brown. Again, pinch loop, pull up. Check to make sure it's on top. Now some tight wraps. Come in, trip off, trim off. Now we whip finish. So here we have the little brown trout in a more subtle version. By not stacking the uh, bucktail and by being, being very sparse with my application of the bucktail, I've ended up with a, a fly that is less bulky. So it's your choice. You can look at the uh, previous video when I did a little uh, rainbow trout, or you look at this one and you can see how they're, uh, they're tied differently. And you can pick the method you like. So the next step is the head cement and then we're ready to go fishing. Cheers.